Hello and welcome to Verify Live. We start with flooding described as the worst in nearly 100 years in Russia and Kazakhstan. Thousands have been forced from their homes, cities under threat, evacuations ongoing. Well, the flooding in the Urals and western Siberia has been caused by unseasonably warm temperatures, which has melted the snow. In the Russian city of Orenburg, home to half a million people, the authorities said water levels had reached dangerous levels. Thousands of people have already left the city. Orenburg is downstream from the city of Osk, which was inundated when a dam burst last week. Well, let's go straight to Moscow and straight to our Russia editor, Steve Rosenberg. And Steve, just give me a, a sense of the scale of this, first of all. Well, the first thing to say is that uh, spring flooding is common, right, in, in Russia, um, when winter turns to spring and, and the snow melts, we see flooding. But nothing on this scale. I mean, uh, and it's beyond Russia, right? In, you mentioned Kazakhstan. 97,000 people have been evacuated from the flood zone in Kazakhstan. Uh, as for Russia, more than 12,000 people have been evacuated uh, from their homes. Uh, you mentioned Orenburg. I think more than 7,000 people have been evacuated from, from Orenburg. And uh, boats have been uh, f uh, sailing around the city there, um, sirens wailing, uh, people being called on to, to leave their homes in, in different districts uh, of the city. So th the scale is quite big, uh, and there's an economic consequence here too. Um, as far as we know, casualty figures are low at the moment. Uh, I've heard maybe four or five people have been killed over the last few days uh, in this flooding. But uh, it's flooding which has affected lots of communities, lots of settlements in the area of the Ural Mount Mountains and Western Siberia. We're seeing pictures, aerial pictures of just uh, the huge amount of territory that this flooding is actually, uh, uh, actually hitting and impacting. Are the water levels still rising? Talk me through the amount of help people are getting on the ground. The water levels, as far as we know, are still rising uh, in Orenburg. Uh, and in fact, uh, President Putin's spokesman, Dmitry Peskov, uh, earlier today um, said that the situation was expected to get worse. In other places, water levels have fallen. For example, in the, uh, the town of Orsk that you mentioned, uh, it was quite interesting a few days ago, uh, a crowd, an angry crowd gathered in Orsk to uh, vent their fury uh, on local officials, on the regional governor of Orenburg, on the local mayor, uh, who they believe didn't warn them in time that this flood was coming. Uh, they criticised Russia's minister for emergency situations too. They didn't criticise the Kremlin, which is quite interesting. They were actually chanting, Putin help us, Putin help us, as if you know, the president sitting in the Kremlin in Moscow was the good czar, in, according to Russian tradition, someone that they believe could actually help uh, solve their problems, give them compensation, uh, make things better. Exactly on that point with Vladimir Putin, has he said anything about this himself directly? We see him so vocal on international matters, uh, the operation in Ukraine. What about something like this domestically with people calling for him to step in? Have we heard from him at all? So the official message uh, from the Kremlin is that Vladimir Putin is across this completely. He's being in, kept informed. He is uh, dealing with the situation, coordinating the situation. Um, we haven't seen that yet. We haven't seen the pictures of this. And there's no suggestion at the moment that Vladimir Putin is going to visit uh, the, flood, the flood area. Um, at the moment, um, the message is being put out there that the president is in full control of the situation, but we haven't actually seen uh, evidence for that. Steve Rosenberg, live there in Moscow. Thanks very much for that. Thank you.